One great thing about our supporters is we get a report at the board, at board level every week at the moment. Um, our membership's still really good. It's about 37,000. Um, we've had to give back a couple of refunds, hardly any really. There's, it's been minimal. Um, and, but it just doesn't surprise me. You know. I've said for a long time, our members, our supporters are the most passionate in the league. We might not have the most, but we've got the most passionate and they stick fat. And that's what they've done through this, through this time anyway. All I've known is North Melbourne. I've been here more than half my life. Um, uh, and, but I do yeah, obviously interact with friends and who support other teams and I've interacted with thousands of other people. But North Melbourne supporters are just unique. I don't, I don't know, it's very hard to explain, but when, when you talk to someone, I can nearly pick if they're a North supporter or not. Um, they're, just a, they're a different breed in a very good way, that they're just ultra, ultra passionate about their, about their football club. Our supporters remind me a bit of the US college supporters. They've just got this undying passion for their college, and that's what we've got with our with our football club and our supporters. We had a function last year and I gave a, a speech about our supporters and members and our volunteers and our administrators. Um, and that's the thing that I've been most proud of with the footy club that I got brought to, you know, obviously just lucky that I got brought into a club where there's so many people that, that would just die for the football club. It's just their, it's their life. So we've been very, very fortunate to have the, that type of person because over the 151 years, uh, you know, it's been a roller coaster. We've been in that many stages where we could have died, but it, it's always been the supporters, the members uh, and the staff of the place that have kept us together. And I've got no doubt they'll do the same thing again through this. Uh, and membership being around that 37,000 mark, they buy memberships because they want to support the club. And at the end of the day, we're, we're owned by our members. In 2010, we got handed back uh, all the shares and we're, we're a member-owned footy club. The reaction to not being able to go to a game, um, so it's, there's always going to be disappointment there, but it is what it is. We, we can't change it. Um, it's just going to be very unique <laughs> to watch a, a full season or nearly a full season with, with no supporters there. But what it will do, Eventually, in 2021, when it does open up and you can go to games, we'll appreciate, we'll appreciate how good it is to go to a game. So, me, in a strange way, um, I think it's a good thing that we, you know, something that we've taken for granted for a long time, that we can just get rock up to the game every week and get a seat and, and watch it. Now it's been taken away from us. Um, it's made me really appreciate what we had and it'll make me appreciate what we've got going forward when we can go back to a game. I don't buy a membership for my seat at the game, even though I get a seat and it's great to go to the game. But my mindset is when I'm buying a membership, I'm not buying a membership to go to the game, I'm buying a membership to support the club. And that's, I think the majority of people are like that. I feel like it's just a donation to a place that has given me so much. It's given me probably a little bit more than most because I was able to play football there for 17 years and you know, helped me set my whole life up. For those uh, who are in a bit more of a better situation where you can actually afford to keep your, your membership in the club, um, It'd be great if, if they do that. It's a selfless thing, it's not a selfish thing. I'm here, I'm putting my money in because I want my club to do well and survive.